today's video we've got some new music and I'm going to show you around the door that I tend to use probably the most which is FL Studio. Okay, so I use FL Studio quite a lot for composing things because I do a lot of loop based stuff and phrase based stuff and it is fantastic for that. Despite what a lot of people say, FL Studio is a good door that can be used for any genre. Its audio recording is perhaps a little clunky in comparison to others, but it's definitely manageable. It perhaps isn't as powerful as some doors such as Cubase, but Cubase is an absolute monster. And when I AB'd them, test them to choose a door, FL Studio came out on top for my use case. It might for yours as well, it's well worth a try. In another video I'll go through the other DAW that I use regularly which is Studio One which is more suited to general recording sort of situations and perhaps is a little bit more powerful than FL Studio in that area. It can be used for loop stuff, it's got some impressive pattern generation tools but it's perhaps not as widely used for loop stuff as FL Studio, so if you're into that kind of music, uh, electronic kind of music, you might be better off with FL Studio or perhaps Ableton, which I've heard is amazing but is very expensive. FL Studio also has price going for it. The version I got cost around £200 and had nearly all the tools and certainly had everything I needed to get going out of the box. Really good synthesizers built in audio editing capabilities and yeah it just is a good door for the price and the updates are free which is a big selling point over other DAWs. might be handy to have a second DAW even if you don't use it as your primary DAW as it's particularly good for creative stuff. Anyway thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed my music and as always it's available for under creative commons for messing about with doing whatever you want with and if you particularly want the the original stems i can always send those out thank you very much